It seems like every time I point out that God doesn't exist, there are so many people who tell me, don't say God isn't real, you can't prove there is no God. Really? Because the last time I checked, most people who believe in God believe that it's the only God. This is made explicit in Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. If you believe God is the only God, doesn't that mean you deny every other God? Saying that only this God is real is the same as saying any other gods are not real. And yet Christians apparently have no desire to challenge a fellow Christian who says Zeus isn't real. Muslims won't argue with each other if one of them says Odin doesn't exist, none of them seem concerned about this. Why is that? Have you proven that there is no Zeus? Have you proven that there is no Odin? Have you proven that literally every proposed god does not exist, with the sole exception of your own? If you have, I would like to see these proofs and verify their validity. And I want to know exactly which criteria must be met to prove your god doesn't exist. But if you have no proof, then how can you fault me for saying your god isn't real and demand that I prove it? You've already failed to meet the same standard you would impose upon me. You don't believe in a thousand gods, and neither do I. You don't believe in a hundred gods, and I'm with you there. You don't even believe in two gods, and I totally agree with that. But when I don't believe in one god, that's when you have a problem? That's when you tell me I shouldn't say there's no god? God and demand that I prove there isn't? You already deny so many gods, but somehow it's unacceptable for me to deny your god? Where do you get off? Unless Christians, Muslims, Jews, and monotheists of every stripe are willing to actually justify their own assertion that all these other gods don't exist, I have no reservations about saying there are no gods. Period.